Welcome to Sportsman Tech Talk. My name is Jim Isaac, and today we're going to be going over how to read and adjust your sonar. So, a lot of people ask us, you know, what am I looking at here on the screen? Um, this is on the simulator mode, so you can kind of tell, like, I would read this as a hump, possibly some live bottom here, hard structure with, you know, you have some light stuff around it, probably the softer edges of it. Typically, if you read a bigger glob like this, you're reading bait fish or some type of a suspended structure, and then you'll have your bigger marks kind of around it, suspend them in the water column, will usually be your larger single fish. Um, really good offshore, you can read bait balls, um, and typically you can see the larger fish kind of sitting around the bait balls. So if you want to clean the unit up a little bit and you want to adjust the unit, you can go into your settings here and you can kind of mess with the game and you can clean it up a little bit. So you can take away some of the interference here on the bottom or you can add it. Sometimes this gets a little bit too messy here, so you'll just go down and you can take some of that away. You can still get a lot of your bigger marks. You can kind of clean up that bottom mark in there. You're not picking up as much as the live bottom structure, but you're still picking up the bait fish schools, the bigger fish kind of hanging around them. If you're moving along a little faster, you can go back and you can go to your sonar setup and you can adjust your scroll speed. If you're stopped sitting on some bottom, bottom fishing, if you're drift fishing, a lot of times what you're gonna do is just bump it down to slow. If you have your setting, your scroll speed set on fast, you're just gonna get a lot of long marks. If you have it set on slow, you're gonna get more of those arches, especially with the chirp transducer. If you're running, I like to go ahead and set it up on fast. That way you can catch a little more of that bottom movement. It can keep up with you a little more. Um, another trick too is if you're running and you're starting to lose a little bit of your bottom, you're just gonna go back here um, and you can go to advanced, you can go to bottom search limit. And so your unit is constantly searching between zero and 3,000 feet. But if you're losing a little bit of your bottom, you can actually adjust that. So let's say you're not going over 300 feet. I would go ahead and just set this to 300 feet. That way it's only gonna scroll between zero and 300 feet. So it's a quicker reaction time and it'll hold bottom a little better for you. We also have a lot of questions about guys running in shallower water with the chirp transducers or any transducer really. So what you wanna do in the shallower water is you wanna put the higher frequency beam in there. So what you'll do is just go to your frequency here and like this one you can do a chirp or 180 kilohertz. The 180 kilohertz is your, your bigger beam on this one. So if you're in a shallow water, let's say 20 feet of water below, something like that, I would go ahead and put it on the 180. That way it's gonna give you a wider beam, allow you to read a little better bottom, hold bottom better with that. Um, deeper water, I would just go ahead and flip it back to the chirps transducer, and that way you're getting those triple beams just going at once, so. All right, so one of the really cool features that Garmin has as well is you can actually, if you're trolling and you go over a spot and you see it's holding a lot of fish or a good bottom structure, you can actually go back in time. You can hold it down here and you can mark that spot. Come back up here, you can edit it, add a symbol, however you wanna do it, name it. Um, so this is 003, is it done? Go back, and then what we can actually do is we can go down here to our waypoints, and it'll actually have that point right here, and we can either rename it however we want it, or we can navigate to it, and you can just retrace back over it. You can hit go to or out to, however you want to do it to go back around, and you can either troll back over that spot, stop, bottom drop on it. It just makes it really nice, because you can kind of find spots on the fly. So these are just a few of the things you can do with your Garmin sonar. Um, there's obviously a lot of different adjustments you can do if you really want to get in depth with it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.